What's up guys? Matt the Riffmaster here and I'm with Alex from Chelsea Grin. How you doing man? I'm fantastic. Awesome. So we've just seen these guys uh, set on the main stage of Bloodstock and um, it sounded awesome. Like I said, first time listening and uh, I, I liked it. it did, it's not typically not my kind of music, but the energy was there, which I think is awesome. So uh, just give us, give us, I mean, for you, um, being a front man, where did that all start with you and the band sort of thing? Uh, it started in high school. Uh, I was a senior in high school and uh, I, uh, you know, really was into the, I had been listening to the whole like metal and hardcore scene since I was in like seventh grade. And, uh, you know, I was just, I was really into it and, you know, I've, See, going to all these shows all the time. Like any time a band was in town, I'd always be there. And like seeing these bands on stage, like I just like look at that and always thought like, wow, I want to do that. You know, like I want to be like that guy. I want to be. I want to be able to do that. So I kind of just started putting something together. The senior year in high school, uh, uh, me and the original guitar player kind of met up like awkward, not awkwardly, but randomly through friends. And he knew how to play guitar. He didn't really, he wasn't really into metal, but he knew how to play guitar. So I was yeah. like, you, yeah. like, let's, <laughs> let's try to do something here. And it kind of started from there and branched out to what it is now. So, yeah. so, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that see their idols on stage and they think that's what I want to do. Yeah. And you've made it happen, mm -hmm. which has got to be quite a good feeling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what advice would you give to people that look at their idols and think, I want to do that? What, what paths and steps do you reckon they should take? Uh, as cliche as it sounds, the biggest part is not giving up. You know what I mean? Like we, like I have definitely hit the wall trying to do this multiple times over and over and over again, you know, whether it be like not being able to write like what I want to write or like not being able to like, you really, uh, be able to push my music or you know having promoters turn us down or you know having you know people turn us down you know you just kind of gotta keep pushing and pushing and pushing and almost got to shove it down their throats until they accept it you know what I mean it's the best way to do it yeah that's what she said, <laughs> that's what she said. awesome so uh, are you on tour at the minute yeah is it, yeah yeah I mean uh, so obviously we're a band called Chelsea Grin uh, we released an album called self-inflicted uh, exactly a year ago uh, that's out now you can check it out uh, we'll be on tour for the rest of the year, mostly out here in Europe and the UK. We're actually doing the Never Say Die tour, so make sure to come check us out on that. And then, yeah, absolutely awesome. So he's he's a busy man. So we'll wrap this up for him. We don't want to keep him too long. So just one more quick question: uh, influences for you bands mm -hmm. that you listened to growing up? What what were they? Someone else? Yeah, I mean, when I, when I was younger, uh, you know, when like the whole deathcore thing was like really starting, like I was super into you know, Suicide Silence, Whitechapel, like bands like Molotov Solution. Uh, you know, I could I could probably go on forever, but yeah. uh, like those kind of bands are what really. I remember the first time I heard Suicide Silence, that was the first time I heard someone mix like the extreme highs with the really lows. Because yeah. like when I was working on my uh, my vocals, I. I sucked, first of all, but I kind of was like focusing on one range, and then I heard that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, like, <laughs> so that's when I kind of started to really try to incorporate like multiple ranges, because like when I remember I heard that, and like that was before the cleansing was even out. It was like their first EP was out, and like it was still on MySpace. Like oh, wow. they put out like this live music video that was like filmed, just like you know, like not filmed like very professionally. It was just live, but yeah. that was like the first thing I saw from them, and I was like, this is the shit right yeah. here. Like I want to <laughs> do that. Like yeah. that is tight, you know. <laughs> well, that's awesome that you're someone that had you know aspired to do that from people that you've liked, and now you're doing it. Mm -hmm. I think that's suit. I like. I like. That. I mean, I've wanted to. I look at my idols and think I'd love to do that. So maybe there's still hope for me one day. <laughs> like I said, keep trying. You know? Yeah, so, I mean, if you give, there's no point giving up because you'll always have downs, but there's Life's always- too short to give up, my friend. Exactly. Uh, so guys, we've been chatting with Alex from Chelsea Grin. Go check them out. Um, they're pretty heavy, they're really heavy. They're yeah. really heavy. <laughs> uh, and he loves what he does, which is awesome, guys. So go check them out. I'll put the links to all their stuff down below so you can go give them a listen. And if they're playing a date near you, go and see them because the crowd are going crazy. Uh, and there's a lot of energy, which is what we love, right? Oh yeah. Awesome. So guys, uh, as always, rock out, be awesome, see ya.